Introducing the African Diaspora News Channel app, your gateway to stories that's overlooked by the corporate mainstream media. And we serve as the voice to the true power black community. Again, we got Dr. Candace Matthews. A lot of these documents, you know, looking at. We are committed to informing and educating through the power of media. This country is supposed to be about the land of the free for all. It has not been free for black people and we are tired. With our platform, we're helping to end injustice by exposing it. Join us in standing for excellence in journalism and serving our community. Download the African Diaspora News app today. So due to advanced genealogy technology, goes by the name of investigative genealogy technology or known as IGT, that the police have been using in Ontario since 2021, we've been able to solve a cold case, and I actually remember this case, that goes back to 1999. So this is 25 years ago. A sister by the name of Nadine Gurjinsky was found unalived in a ditch in the Niagara region. The area is called Lincoln, Ontario, or better known as the Vineland. Her body was found, as I said, and to date, they were not able to solve this case. But again, with the help of this advanced technology, they were able to identify who the killer is. We're going to hear from a sergeant in the Niagara region by the name of Andrew Neville, and he's going to explain how this technology works. Take a look at this. We're very grateful for being able to have this technology available uh, to us. Um, initially, back in uh, 1999, uh, where this all began, was uh, we were able to uh, determine that uh, crime scene uh, DNA was located on the body of Nadine Gerzinski. Uh, that was uploaded to the National uh, Data Bank uh, to attempt to determine whether or not uh, there was any associations or linkages to any known offenders on the DNA data bank. However, uh, no, uh, no connections or linkages were ever able to be uh, established. Uh, from there, we uh, attempted to uh, work with our policing partners in uh, the United States uh, through Interpol and the United Kingdom, but again, uh, no linkages were, were ever found. And uh, it wasn't until 2021 where uh, we were able to uh, utilize the investigative genetic uh, genealogy working with our partners uh, with the Toronto Police Service and uh, cooperation with the Centre of Forensic Sciences in order to um, narrow down and help uh, build uh, family trees to narrow down persons of interest in this particular investigation, which ultimately led us to the identity of the offender, uh, Mr. Raymond Brousseau. What that then triggers our, is our traditional investigative techniques, which utilize um, us obtaining uh, a sample of uh, Mr. Brousseau's DNA and then submitting that uh, once again to the Center of Forensic Sciences in order to establish whether or not there's a connection to the DNA found at the uh, crime scene. And uh, once that was sent away, uh, we uh, received uh, notification that uh, there was in fact a match and that the DNA found at the crime scene was that of Mr. Brousseau. So cause of death for Nadine Gerzinski is identified as having a broken neck and severe internal injuries. And the identified killer's name is Joseph Archie Raymond Brassau. He sadly has been unalive since 2017 and it was due to a self-harm. But had he still been alive, he would have been charged with second degree murder. I think it should have been first degree murder. Anyway, I digress. He's no longer with us to even stand trial. A bit more about Nadine Gorjinski. She was living in the Niagara region and she was married to one of the folks and his name was Paul Gorjinski. She thirsted for nightlife and excitement. That caused a rift in their marriage, which ultimately ended up in divorce, and she moved to Toronto. While living in Toronto, she took a job as an exotic dancer, and I have a composite of a man that she was seen frequently with, and back in 1999, they felt as though this was the suspect, but of course, without having any proof, they weren't able to file a charge or arrest this individual. And again, this is a composite, so we don't even really know what he really looked like. 
Also, I will add that the police refused to release any photos of this monster who took her life. And it doesn't matter that it's 25 years ago because they're able to produce an image of Nadine Gerzinski. So why not produce an image of the monster who took her life? In any event, the family is really happy. They feel like they do have some semblance of closure in understanding who was responsible for taking her life. And as a result of this technology, they've been able to solve eight cold cases in total. So I'll keep watching to see um, how many more cases we come up with that involve our people um, that were not being able to be solved up until now. So let me know what you all think about this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, also share this content. Also download the African Diaspora News app. You can grab it at the Google or Apple store or head over to AfricanDiasporaNews.org and grab it there. If you want to get this, grab this app. You'll have access to content you won't see here or anywhere else. So grab that app. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel, EA Public Relations. Until next time, please be safe, everyone.